Oh my gosh, I embarrass myself every time I watch these and I see like, oh, what can I use for a blooper? Half of them I cut out because I just can't. Hey guys, today's video is one that I am so stinking excited about. I know I say that at the beginning of every one of my videos, but I am insanely passionate about hair extensions. I consider myself a bit of an expert when it comes to hair extensions because I have literally been wearing them for seven years years. I have tried every brand, every type. I feel like I am pretty educated when it comes to hair extensions and I love helping people that I meet find the extensions that are right for them. And I'm also just excited about it because hair extensions have changed my life. I know that sounds so stupid and cheesy, but it is my honest truth. Um, I have naturally blonde hair, so it's quite thin and fine and just has never been the hair that I wanted it to be my whole life. And I kind of just lived with that. But my senior year of high school, I actually ended up going through some serious health issues. And a part of what happened to me was my hair started falling out on its like huge clumps. Just, it was super unhealthy. It started getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And at one point you could see through my hair to my scalp. It was a disaster and I felt like a disaster. I was a senior in high school, about to go to college. I was a cheerleader, I was doing pageants, I was getting great grades. Like I was so happy with my life, yet I was waking up every day just hating the way that I looked. And I'm not trying to say that long hair is the only way to look pretty, that's not what I'm saying at all, but I was just so insecure about how thin and sad my hair was that I couldn't match that confidence that I had on the inside. It couldn't come out because I hated the way I looked on the outside. So I thought, okay, no more. This is not happening to me. I am fixing this. And my mom went out and bought me my first pair of extensions and it changed my life. It really did. I know that sounds stupid. Hair's not the most important thing in the world. I get that, but it is really important to me. So I just wanted to express to you how seriously I take my hair extensions and the advice that I'm going to give in this video is very heartfelt and stuff I've thought about for years years. So anyways, <laughs> um, the extensions that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, like I said, I feel like I've tried every single brand and these are hands down, in my opinion, the best extensions on this planet. It's laced hair extensions. They are gorgeous. They are thick. They are beautiful. And the thing I love the most about them is they are amazing quality. I wish I could tell you like, this is a brand new set that I just got. It's not, this is almost a year old. And I've bought, I think three different kinds of extensions since I bought these. And these are still thicker, nicer, and just my go-to hair extensions is the laced hair. And I get asked all the time, do you work for them or do they give you those for free? No, I buy these with my own money. Um, they haven't asked me to do a review or a tutorial or anything like that. I just love them that much that I just wanna share the love. I talk about them all the time there. I'm not getting anything out of it except that I wanna help you love your hair too. So um, let's get started. Now that I've explained my addiction hair extensions to you, you'll know like being on face with no being on face, being on camera with no makeup on was like a big deal for me, but being on camera with no hair in is like a whole other story. All right, so this is my hair without my extensions in. It's actually the longest it has been in like 10 years because I just had a baby, not just, I had a baby nine months ago and it really made my hair grow. But as you can see, these front pieces are right to my collarbones and will not grow past. But having a baby made it grow a little bit and these pieces in the back here have actually grown pretty long, like I said, the longest I've had in 10 years, but they're literally like the tiniest bits of hair. Now, when I started wearing extensions, my hair was just below my chin. So if you're watching this and you think, oh, her hair is way longer than mine, this technique will absolutely work for you because I started using it when my hair was this short. Moving on to the actual hair. Again, I'm using laced hair extensions. They come with eight wefts. Four of them have little clips like this that go more towards the front of your hair. Three of them have three clips and are about this long in width. And then one of them is extra thick and a little bit wider. Um, so traditionally, when you get extensions, the instructions that come with it always say to place those in the back and then the little pieces on the sides. And like I said, I don't have much going on over here. So if I do that, I've got like this long back and then like these two little pieces that hang out right here. And I literally look like I have a mullet. So this technique is different than what most extension brands recommend. Um, but I think that's why I wanted to show it to you because girls that have have extremely thin hair always benefit from putting in their extensions like this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is section off your hair. Just take your pointy fingers right above your ear, split your hair off, and then pin up the top part and leave the rest down. 
Now, most extension companies will tell you to just put in one weft from ear to ear, but I don't do that. To get more length on the side, I put in two right on top of each other so they go from my ear to the back of my head, ear to the back of my head, and kind of cross over in the back. Um, when you put it right next to your ear, that is helping you have more hair on the sides where I'm very much lacking hair. And really it's just easy. You just literally slide the clip into your hair and close it and then slide this part over the top. Let me see if I can actually show that to you. Then once those two pieces are in, I just split that into two different sections and then split each of those sections into three different parts to curl my hair. The curl I'm going to be doing is the Michelle Money Curl. It is literally the best way to curl your hair. When I do my hair this way, it stays for days at a time. I will link her YouTube channel below so you can go check a detailed tutorial of that out. But basically what I do is just take, take the barrel halfway down, then I just kind of flip the barrel under so that my hair goes under, and then you just kind of suck the rest of your hair up into the curling iron. So instead of to where um, traditionally you would go all the way down to the bottom and then curl everything up, you're kind of keeping your curling iron in the middle and just twist it very lightly so that the hair gets sucked up into the curling iron. This makes your hair extremely hot, it makes the curl tight, and makes it last extra long. So I'm just going to do it for you one more time. Um, you kind of just open and shut your curling iron as you're turning your hair and the rest of it is going to just fall right up into the barrel. And the most important part for me is leaving a good amount out. I like to leave one to two inches of hair out of the barrel and that is what's going to give you beachy effortless waves. So once you're done curling those, you should have two pieces left over. You should have a piece identical to the two you just put in, and then that one extra long, extra thick piece that's supposed to go at the top of the head, but instead, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're going to go from the side of our head all the way around to really be able to fill in the sides. You don't wanna go too high with this um, last extension set, especially if you're a blonde, you can see the tracks easier. Is that the word, tracks? I don't know. You can see the wefts easier through your hair the higher up you go. So my rule is no higher than the bottoms of your eyebrows. Um, I like to just, again, take your pointer fingers, section that piece of hair off, and then clip it up. Oh my gosh, I should have done like some push-ups or something. So what you want to do, again, is place this right over your ear as far forward as you can without it being seen, and then go back and do the same thing with the other side. Placing it right next to your ear as far forward as you feel comfortable going and then crisscrossing those two over each other in the back. And like I said earlier, I don't want to look like I have a mullet and my hair is too thin to be able to put all of them in the back and only be supported by these little clips on the sides. I have to do that technique where I put them all the way around my head. And then I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair again doing that exact same technique where you go halfway down your hair. Flip your curling iron over, then just open and shut and really just let everything come up into the curling iron and making sure that you leave the ends out. So, so important. in and curled, it's time to move on to those little pieces that we talked about in the very beginning. You have four of them, two for each side. Something else I forgot to mention is it is so important to help your hair extensions look natural, is to get them layered in. Unless you have really long hair, you can probably just like throw them up there and they look good, but 80% of the time, you're gonna need to layer in your hair so that you don't end up with stenchies. You know what they are. It's when you see a girl and you're like, oh girl, like I can see your extensions, they don't blend at all. You've got to blend them in so that you don't have your harsh hairline and then long hair down here. You need layers in between. And a really important place to do that blending is in your front pieces. It's kind of shorter on this side and then kind of tapers down. And that is just to help everything blend in. So what I do is take right at the top of my eyebrow, um, right above where I had put those wefts before, and I just clip in one, two, just like that. 
and cover them up. You wanna make sure that you're doing it low enough that your hair can cover. When I was a blonde, I had to do this much lower because it just does show through so much easier. So just make sure, use your good judgment, experiment a little bit with it to see how high up you can go without having them be seen. And again, I'm just gonna clip those two over here. Boom. I don't know why I didn't pull my hair up because I don't curl the very top of my hair in with my extensions. I think this is also something else that helps it to look more natural if you leave those bits out and do it at the end. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl these two pieces that I clipped in using that exact same technique. And something I don't think I mentioned last time was that you wanna curl away from your face. You don't ever want the iron to be turned in towards your face. You want your hair to be really framing your face. So you wanna curl away from your face rather than in towards it. Then you're gonna to wanna to let the rest of your hair down and curl in these pieces to match your hair. One of my biggest rules or tips, I guess, in helping this to look natural is not curling the ends of your hair. You wanna do the exact same thing and leave them out so that you don't end up with a hair that's curled and flipped out right here. Especially if your layers are shorter. When I started wearing hair extensions, my top layers were literally to my eye. They were so, so short and I wouldn't even touch those because I didn't want these tiny little curls poking up up here and then the majority of my curls down here. You really want everything to blend together. So no matter if this top layer is long or short, you want to do that same technique where you take the barrel halfway down, Turn, let everything come up into the curling iron and leave these pieces out. That is gonna help it look so much more natural when we brush through everything. All right, then once those top pieces are curled, I like to just tease through the top of my hair to give me some volume. One of my favorite things to do is to take the extensions and just comb upwards very slowly. You don't wanna like wrap this at all, but I just like to kind of bring my comb in little upward strokes and that really just helps give me volume on the end and helps your hair to look big if you're into that kind of thing, which I am. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It really does make a big difference, not just like in the physical way that I look, but in the way that I feel. If you felt like I did, you feel insecure and really would just love to have long, gorgeous hair, you totally can. Just because you weren't blessed with it doesn't mean you can't go out and buy it. So I challenge you to go out and try it. Even if you've tried it before and had a bad experience, it might be because of your placement. It might be because of your curling techniques. All those things matter in helping it look natural and long and gorgeous. I am loving all the shares I am getting from people I don't even know. Seriously, thank you so much. If you know someone who has been thinking about clipping hair extensions or who has someone and can't quite figure them out, share this with them. I would be forever grateful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, like, just be real with me. Be honest. Which one of these looks better? Fluff that hair, girl. Nobody wants a flat head. It's okay. No one will judge you. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. This is the third freaking time I have filmed this video. I was so excited about it. I wanted it to be perfect. So if this video is horrible, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it again. I can't. See what I'm talking about? <sighs> okay, just calm down. I can't speak, I'm too nervous. <sighs> okay, get over it, Jamie. Put on your big girl panties and get over it. <laughs> Suck everything. Up. That's so weird. Stop saying that.